Clark led the welcome. Mrs. Thatcher was more serious. Euro Gala, a shortened impression of a performance first given on May the 20th. Lord and Lady Grade played host to the ambassadors and committee members of the nine member countries of the European movement. Among those present were Lord and Lady Duncan Sands, Lord and Lady Gladwin, both Lord Sands and Lord Gladwin are presidents of the International European Movement. Lord Thompson, chairman of the European Movement with Lady Thompson. Mr. George Batani, president of the International Movement and Mrs. Batani. Here are Lord and Lady Grade waiting to greet Sir Ian and Lady Gilmore. Lord Duncan Sands. Mr. and Mrs. Roy Jenkins. Mr. Edward Heath. And the guest of honor, Lord Mountbatten.
Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be present at tonight's celebrations, and it's an honor to be introducing the show. Of course, it's more than just a show. It's truly a gala occasion, a gala to commemorate a very special birthday, the birthday of the first European Parliament, a brand new bouncing baby, its mother, the European community, also known as the common market, is 30 years old and, according to the doctors, is doing very well. <laughs> the achievement of creating such a parliament is great, and the advantages it will bestow are immense. But I'd like to offer a few words to those who may have some doubts, to those who feel that if we do become Europeans, we may cease to be English, French, Dutch, Italian, German. Now, I feel that I'm in a position to uh, reassure them, examine my qualifications, if you like. I'm English. I work all over the continent. I've lived in London, of course, but I've also lived in Paris. And at the moment, I'm living in Geneva. But here's the important point. Every afternoon on the crack of, well, yes, on the dot, I should say, of four, I serve tea and toast. <laughs> now, what I'm trying to say is this. No matter where we are or what we do, we shall remain ourselves. And no European Parliament is going to change that for any of us. Our national character, institutions, shall remain unchanged, unaffected. But we will be taking part in a truly historic occasion, the fulfillment of a dream cherished by millions of our predecessors, the creation of the first European Parliament. And may we wish all its members every success. <laughs> the European common market is only 30 years old, but there's another common market of Europe that's been going for hundreds of years, the circus, an institution which has broken through all the barriers and made frontiers seem obsolete. Ladies and gentlemen, the circus of Europe. <laughs> Love their singers, and I, for one, am grateful for that. Except that if you happen to be a new male singer, they're inclined to say, ah, here he is a young Trené or a new Becco or Asnavour. And if you happen to be a new female singer, they'll say, ah, enfin, a new Mistinguette or a new Piaf. However, here is a French singer who's her own woman and future singers will be happy to be compared to her. Mesdames et Messieurs, une bonne copine et une très grande chanteuse, Mireille Mathieu.
imagine that everyone
really what the world is mm -hmm, looking for For you, for me, for us and for them So people, this is why I'm gonna sing it again entries in here is a song which is very dear to me it was written for me by the great and sadly missed Belgian poet Jacques Brel it's about childhood and it's called an enfant un enfant ça vous décroche un rêve Ça le porte et ses lèvres Et ça parle en chantant Un enfant Avec un peu de chance Ça entend le silence Et ça pleure des diamants Et ça rit Que non savoir que faire Ça s'endort de l'or sous les paupières Et ça dort pour mieux nous faire rêver Un enfant, ça écoute le merle Qui dépose ses perles Sur la portée du vent Un enfant C'est le dernier poète D'un monde qui s'entête À vouloir devenir grand Et ça demande Si les nuages ont des ailes Et ça s'inquiète D'une neige tombée Et sa croix Que nous sommes fidèles Et ça se doute Qu'il n'y a plus de fait Mais un enfant Et nous fuyons l'enfance Un enfant Et nous voilà passant un enfant. Et nous voilà patience un enfant. Et nous voilà. So I have a rather pleasant announcement to make. Um, two days ago, I received a visit from a member of the European movement 
who told me that the movement wished to spring a surprise on one of the great Europeans who happens to be with us this evening and to bestow on him their highest honor. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present the President of the International European Movement, Monsieur Georges Bertani, and the Chairman of the British European Movement, Lord Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, as chairman of the British end of the European movement, uh, this is uh, an occasion when we want, as Petula Clark has said, to spring uh, a little surprise on Lord Grade, whom I hope can be tempted to come down and uh, join us here on the stage. to a close, but though our show is ending, it's only the very beginning for the European Parliament. It's perhaps symbolic that tonight's gala has taken place in this magnificent theatre, the Theatre Royal Drury Lane, which has endured so much and been the scene of so many theatrical triumphs. Let us pray that the European Parliament will endure and triumph in similar fashion. And now our stage fills again for our European anthem, The Ode to Joy, from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. Neil Shikoff is currently appearing in La Boheme at Covent Garden. <laughs> 